So we're here at uh, Tech Nexion. So hi. Hello. So who are you? I'm Kathy. Nice to meet you. And who are you? I'm Henry. And so what do you do? Well, we are doing ARM-based systems and modules. So that's one of our ARM-based system. It's a box PC with an Intel uh, with an NXP IMX6 CPU inside. So you get the VGA for the industrial automotion, you get HMI, you have various GPIOs, of course, Galvanic Isolated available, you have a CAN bus for stepping motors and stuff like this, and you have the LAN interfaces, which can be, by the way, power over Ethernet if you need. So this is IMX6? Yes. Uh, different IMX6 you can put inside? Of course. We are starting with the ultralight, we are going to the solo, dual light, dual quad core and soon we will have the quad plus so cool. what do you need and you're also showing imx7 over here so yes. right here what is this that's our modules we call them the pico modules because they're extremely small so they are only 40 millimeters times 36 you have the imx7 processor you have the ram you got the emmc on the back and you also have options for wi-fi here is no Wi-Fi, but if we go here, it sets the IMX7, IMX7 dual core. It's on Cortex A7 with a Cortex M4, so you've got three cores. And what we are showing here is that it's not getting hot when it's running on a five-inch display, multiple videos. It's perfect for automation, you know. It's not getting hot at all. So uh, where does the M4 kick in in this CPU? This M4, yes. what does that do and what does our Cortex-A7 do? Uh, the Cortex-A7 is for the heavy calculating if you need to have any graphics or number crunching. And if you don't need the number crunching, you shut down the Cortex-A7 and the M4 keeps the system alive with very low power. So you can, uh, you can cut down all the power and have less power for the whole system. So that means uh, smaller, better devices, Perfect, especially for industrial automotion. Imagine some outside application where a user is coming to have interaction with the screen. Most of the time the user is not here. So only if the user comes and touches, the M4 registers the touch, wakes up the system, and then the system acts and reacts very fast. Is this automatic? Can be, yeah. Is this part of uh, your software solution or who's making the software? Uh, we are providing all the BSP and all the source code for the Linux, Yocto and Android. And of course, we are providing for the Cortex M4 some software. And then the interaction between the Cortex M4 and the Cortex A9 sets up to the user, but there are already basic samples how to do it inside of the source code. Nice. Which one is your most popular solutions right here? Well, that's extremely difficult to say everyone is popular. Especially the little modules getting more and more popular. We introduced them one year before. And you know, you got a USB Type C. You got an SD card on if you want, so that's quite nice. What is the what is the advantage of using USB Type C on this? It's just in the latest technology, and you know, in industrial automation, we are normally always a little bit behind. But if you have this now, imagine in a few years you only will have USB Type C, and that just will be better. Let me show you this board. That's an all-in-one solution. So you have ratchetized power supply. That's clickable. It's not falling off if you connect it. You have HDMI, you got the USB, as well as the VGA. And you got, of course, the Gigabit LAN. And this, again, with the module. So you can change the module. And if you need a quad, you have a quad. If you just need a solo, you have a solo. Or extreme low power and ultralight. That's all possible. And you get an LVDS for your connection. You have a MIPI interface for a camera. And on the back sides, it's amazing. You've got a mini PCI Express. You get the SIM card holder for it. Then you get, of course, some storage for micro SD. And we have an M.2 connector for storage for other stuff. And again, USB Type C, of course. Again, of course. That sounds cool. Yep. I mean, it sounds like you are in the front of uh, definitely. the revolution. Definitely. One in the ARM based systems, we are definitely one of the leaders. So we're here in Taiwan. Yes. Where is your company based? Our company is based in Taiwan. However, our own owner and founder is from European, Netherlands. So we are a Taiwanese company under European management. Where are you from? What do you guess? What do I guess? Yes. I think it's probably, it sounds like something that could be Switzerland. Almost. Germany. Yeah. Very Germany. close. Right. Our neighbors. Cool. Let's go around over here. Sure. Cool. Uh, so there's all these boards you were talking about. Yeah, we put some on the wall. 
lots of them, so they, they stick easily on the wall. And what do you have over here? Uh, here we are starting with the systems. So we have the Tucan, it's a 7 inch system. It get again the uh, IMX6 processor inside. Here we have the inside of the Tucan. So inside you need see we have the CAN bus, we have RS232, HDMI, GPIO, we got the power. So you got really everything in this board. Cool. And what are over Ethernet? What are those? Are those? These are our newest modules we introduced in last this year February. It's a TC10 and also the TAP series. So it's a 7 inch, 10 inch, 15 inch and soon we will have a 21 inch family. And inside we have again this great modular system. So the modular system allows you to change the IOs. For example the power IO, you can have 12 volt, 24 volt, wide voltage range. What's the connector system here? Um, that's a special connector for a high, uh, for a ratchetized rocket. So, is the performance when you connect is as if it was on the PCB? Exactly. Exactly the same? Exactly the same. And that's one of the advantages. You get the same performance and you can connect your system like you need. So it's a standard system, off the shelf, but you still can customize it to your needs because everyone needs something else. But this is the Technexion system. Yes, that's our own So you own can buy module. a bunch of different future upgrades or something. Exactly, and if customer need different IOs, he can make his own IOs. He can make their own. Yes. You have lots of customers who make their own stuff. Um, half, half. Half, half, half of the customer using our existing standard solution. The other half is going and is using something by their own. So where are your customers? The customers are everywhere. Big companies, we have a big market companies. in Europe. We have a big market in America and of course in Japan. So the customers ranging from small customers with 10 pieces, 100 pieces, up to 1,000. And then the premier customers having like 30,000, 50,000 modules a year. So we are really having everything. And that's why all our software is on our web page, free to download, no registration needed. You just go there, you download the source code, and you play with it. Open we source? We want to enable every customer. Yes, open source. Open source, people can uh, help you patch your stuff? They can yes. submit? Actually, we get patches from the customers, but what we are trying, we are trying to stay as much as possible with the mainline Linux and with the mainline, you know, kernels. So our customers have it even more easier to integrate other stuff. So every year a lot of things are happening in the ARM world, right? It's getting better and better. Definitely. A few years ago ARM was really some niche solution, but now ARM can compete with all the x86 systems. It's amazing. Where you needed an x86 before, now you're putting in an ARM and instead of 40 watts, you only have 5 watts, but even more performance than with the old systems. And you were doing ARM for how long? Technician. Uh, that's long, a good question. A long while, we started right? 1999 and we are doing the ARM for at least 10 years and I guess it's around 12 years already. So again, in advance of the trend. And yes, uh, now everybody advance, is... Uh, always focused, always concentrated on the right solution. And where does it get manufactured, all these boards? We manufacture by ourselves in Taiwan. We have our own facilities. So we just upgraded, we have two brand new lines. Hey, you're invited to have a look on our lines if you have time. So that sounds like a great SMT solution, right? Yes. You buy the latest stuff from Japan or something. From Panasonic, of course. Yeah. So we even can make the POP, the package on package, where you put the memory on top of the CPU. Our equipment can do this, no problem. Nice. POP is uh, very cool for uh, smart glass, for small things. Yes, exactly. Smartwatch, maybe. Yeah, we are planning for the future, you know. Our modules are now really tiny on the market with 40 times 36 millimeter. But give us a little bit time and check back. The machines can do even smaller and we will have something cool coming up.